What's up everybody? Welcome to Token Moments. My name is Token Mackin White. This is your very first time of watching Token Moments. You are on a long thing. As I told you guys, this show has a new twist and some added extra spice. I will be having some of my famous friends stop by, some not so famous people. We're going to have conversations on things that I'm curious about, things that everybody's talking about. Now, the Big Brother Nigeria platform is something that leaves me utterly amazed. I mean, how does one person go from living a normal life, going into this house, coming out three months after, and voila, there's fame. Today, I will be chatting with one of my fave from the just concluded Big Brother Nigeria. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, Dora the Explorer. That's what I love to call her. How are you doing, baby girl? I'm fine. She said my famous friends. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't keep calm. <laughs> you know, the first time I saw you on, on TV, yeah. I... I've always been a fan of Big Brother Nigeria. I don't know how to watch the show because I've just never understood how people can sit around. Every time I tune in, it's either like people in a courtyard, having <laughs> and I don't really know the bits and bobs. I'm like, this is so hard to watch. But it was one of the parties they oh, had. Okay. And I saw you on screen. And the first thing I saw was your... Oh. Puzzle! <laughs> really big boobs and i like yeah. the fact that you know you really rocked them really well and your personality was one that caught my eye i remember that evening i was i kept thinking who is this girl and then i went online and found other people called you dora the explorer mm -hmm. so how are you i'm very well thank Welcome you to this show i'm so excited <laughs> and then i took i took notes from you oh, you know you've been doing a lot of that recently thank you thank you very much so let's talk let's talk about life before big brother ninja what were you doing before you went into the house Okay, so I was in between jobs okay. and also running my business on the side, okay. um, my procurement business. Okay. And it was one day on, one day off. It was it was just a regular thing for me. Okay. And then Big Brother happened. So f I remember, like you just said, um, going into the house and voila, mm. there's so fame. Before we even get to the <laughs> voila side, why did you decide to go to Big Brother Ninja? Was it something you've always wanted to do? Did someone nod you? Uh, into getting the form or was it something was it an experiment you just wanted to play with okay so um normally i'm somebody that likes to like be behind the scenes hide oh oh god oh god <laughs> i was always so the thing is i was always scared of public um opinions you know how people would see me if people would you know accept me you know i go on these blogs sometimes and i see how crazy people can want to like how people want to have opinions about other people's life and i'm like this is this can't be me you know so i was just on instagram with my 207 212 followers literally posting once in three months and i was just that girl that was just you know hustling and trying to but it wasn't working because i couldn't like maintain one job i remember i was in two jobs and then i got fired and i had to leave the second one because i was frustrated i knew that business was this business was something that i really wanted to do and i stuck with it but i didn't have the platform i wanted i wanted um, a platform whereby people can see me and you know see what i do and just you know if they like me because i'm big on when people see you and they like you they like anything you're associated with like they want to just be a part they want to support you and that was it for me that was the reason why i like you know went for the show i tried in 2019 i didn't even pass the first stage let's not even talk about it now, for someone who says <laughs> you're quite shy and withdrawn um going to this platform where people are going to have you in their living rooms, in their bedrooms, <laughs> in their offices. Were you ever conscious while you're in the house, knowing that, as you said, you really worried about public perception? Uh, yeah, yes, I was so did you a bit. Ah, I was, I was, I was always particular about my angles because I'm like, oh, this camera, oh yeah, I have to position myself for my angles. But it wasn't a thing of trying to not be myself. Oh, yeah. It was just me being on camera for the first time. So I'm, I'm checking, oh, is my hair well laid? Oh, what top, my, I need to adjust my top. Oh, is my panty shirt, I need to adjust my jean. So, I mean, it was, it was a conscious thing because also the cameras made noises. So it just always caught my attention. So it was, there was never a moment where you were not 
aware of what was going on around me. Oh, you, there, were, there were so many moments. At some point, I forgot about it. So, so I was really conscious in the first few weeks. But then I just, it just felt like living my life. But I know there are cameras around, but you know, it was just a norm now. So you were the second one out? School. First run out. First run out. First run out. Thank you for coming. <laughs> She's like, get it right. She's like, get it right. First, first run, run out. out. First, yeah. you know, first time um, a female is coming second. Is it the first time? Uh, no, no, Bissola was, oh, Bissola was, was yeah, Bissola also came right second right. in my right. time. So, I mean, how are you feeling the last couple of weeks when you knew for real, for real, Nigerians must love me because if they didn't love me, I wouldn't be in this house this long. I mean, at some point when you realize that you were getting closer and closer to the finish line, mm -hmm. and with every eviction, or there is she, you are there, okay. you must have had a sense of, I'm What's quite going? out there. Yeah, I remember always asking them, Big Brother, during my diary session, of what it what is it that I'm doing right? Cause I mean they they are like we came in we're like twenty they came in here and I'm just that girl that just literally minds her business, you know maybe cracks a joke or two make make people laugh cook my food I sleep early even in the house yes wow. no like <laughs> like I I was like one of the people that always like go to bed early and never knows what's happening at night and then when i wake up and there's gist every i'm like wow i need to stop sleeping early so you said something that i'm really curious about i'd like to find out how you know your mental space you go from knowing that i need the fans to get to know who i am and i also need to play to win the money did you ever get stuck in you know who am i this week trying to get the fans who am i this week trying to win the money it's, it's actually very tricky because for somebody like me, it was almost like I was living my everyday life. Okay. I felt like when I came out of the house and I, I heard all the stories and different things about like the other housemates, and I'm like, do you really go into the house blank? What was your plan? Wow. <laughs> what exactly was your plan? Because I mean, for me, it was just get noticed by the big brands, you know, have show people the kind of person you are. Mm -hmm. I just eyes on the money eyes on the money basically yeah. so it was never a case of trying to be me and play the game of course when i cite any movement like oh this person trying to play smart mm. like i snap mm. but it was not exactly did you have any real like issues with anybody in the house because I, I didn't really watch the show day to day but was there ever a like yeah, I'm quite an easy going person you know? i think so ignoring, too so, right? <laughs> like, that that <laughs> so let's talk about coming out of the house yeah as i said I've been very curious about the Big Brother platform. These are people who live lives normally, day to day, some banker, some shuffling between jobs, as you said. Mm -hmm. And three months, you come out a superstar. That must have some, I mean, what was it like coming out and knowing that from 200 and something followers, so how many followers did you have? I had like, a, I had a million. A million. A million. And all I these people like- I didn't handle my Instagram page for like, I think a month because it was overwhelming because mm -hmm. they are DMs back to back and then you know there's there's DM and there's DM requests mm. and then there's just everybody comments are crazy there are people just watching you you swipe up on your story and you see like 11k views I'm like who are these people, people. so it was it was a lot did and you have to see someone mentally were you ready for this Thing called fame because it's a very tricky world um there's one thing that i always which is one of the reasons why i wanted to have this chat with you um every year forms are out people are excited about wanting to be the next big brother star but this fame also is time time if you know what i mean they and I, say it has a time frame it does <laughs> and, and and i feel like the fans are the same from three years ago to the next yeah, year so there's always going to be the fans jumping on a new fave yeah. and that cannot like speaking heart to heart now how does that work for you knowing that you know i'm all of a sudden famous people know my name people are out there planning my birthday parties like people <laughs> are doing the most you know for lack of a better word i mean how, how do you take this day by day what's a day like in your life right now dorothy so I'll start from the past where you asked about yeah, the fans. Mm -hmm. So I think I won't be able to like exactly answer that until the new show starts. Mm -hmm. But it boils down to like being mentally ready. You know that this is you watch this show every year and you see how it goes with the fans. It's crazy. The buzz is the buzz is like 
huge you just have to just always be mentally ready that, uh, okay at some point but you still have people people that still love you mm. still, still but how genuine do you think their love is I really can't say but mm. uh, in your i mean in your own journey like you i know your birthday came up and your fans came together to get you a brand new car yes like walking out and receiving that car from these people who are you know ex the explorers as we love to that's what you call them right it was weird yeah they're yeah the explorers. the explorers how did that make you feel just walking out there and seeing that people are out I there doing this i actually couldn't understand it because i watched the show but i wasn't too invested in mm. it but coming out and seeing like I remember the first two months, I didn't used to, first two, three months, I didn't used to buy anything. Everything was free. I, I said like, I would literally just sit down in my house and get things, like get gifts and everything. And I couldn't, I still don't understand it. Mm. But I feel like the, 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 the platform is, I don't know, there's just something about it. They're just people that just see you and I feel like they, because they, they, they can relate with your story, they, they watch you every day okay. and they just like you because there's something about you that they could relate to. So, I mean, they just want to like love you and just give you things. Oh, wow. That's, and just, you that's... know, they want to actually see you prosper, see you happy mm. and say, oh, okay, that person in my face, I should favor, I should doing great. So what do you feel about the fan wars? I, I find them interesting because <laughs> we see them online. This person's battling that person, this person's fave and they're always attacking each other. Who is it, it, I'm sure you sit back. I mean, your fans, I don't think are that way. I, I've never really seen your fans in the middle of a war yeah, between the, I mean, they if, get messy. Though. They could get messy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they're, always, they're always there when it's a dirty. So when it's happening, what's your take on them being messy? I'm, I'm just there watching. <laughs> no, because I've watched it. I've watched it time and time and time again. again. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's, it's between them. Okay. Getting involved will be messy because no matter how much you you tell it to them, like you say, oh, easy, like mind your business, just support me. Mm. They would still do what they feel they want. It's do, necessary, okay. or what is necessary, because when they see this other fan base trolling their fave and saying their fave is this, they want to fight. Mm. They want to mm. like they want to defend you because they yeah. feel like okay that's why we're here we should defend you so i just never get involved mm. so life after big brother are you prepared once there's a new set of big brothers like what are you doing now yeah, business. and businesses just talk to, talk to me about the business because sis i want to know <laughs> okay so uh, i recently just uh, launched a business um a lingerie line Ooh. it's called mfc my full chest lingerie so i can it. see <laughs> I knew you say that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we're it's it's for the long term. I okay. would say it's for the long term. We dropped one collection. I'm already working on the next collection. I'm just going to be focused on building more businesses because mm -hmm. that's like my thing. That's my passion. I love to build business and other things I'm interested in. Maybe acting. Oh really? Yeah. I think you'd be really good, by the way, because oh, okay. your personality is so big. You walk in a room and you know people notice you. So yeah. it's definitely well, something. Business is my first love. Okay. I mean, you got to get the money right. You got to know daily income. Mm. Important. <laughs> that's 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 very good. Well done. I mean, what would you say about those? people who get lost in the whole you know fan wars because we've seen certain people maybe not necessarily in your set but in the set before who are so focused on this fan loving me that fans fighting with me and their year is up and the phone calls stop coming and the invitations to certain events stop happening and these same fans that loved you so much you literally see them love on somebody else um you know what would you say for someone who is thinking about going to big brother next this coming edition what advice would you give to them about you know just the fan wars navigating their life and finding who they are okay so i would firstly say that always have an open mind always have an open mind um don't try to don't get too involved in the fan wars because it's in the end it's always going to come back to hit you it's going to always be messy just try to find a balance between mm. the fans and what you want to do and just you know just be smart about everything to be mm. honest because i want to say smart. i want to say that oh yeah the fans would eventually move on because they actually belong to big brother but at the same time there's still people 
that will still stick with you like your core fans mm. people that actually really really care about you mm. would actually still stick around and support you from time to time but when it comes to fan wars just stay out of it okay so i mean you, t you said something that was very important the fans you know belong to big brother and, and what does what do you do to keep those fans because the thing is there are people who genuinely love you and interested in your growth but there's definitely the pressure on the other side mm -hmm. and let's keep it real i'm sure you know the pressure is real on what next how do i keep these fans entertained and how do i keep them you know sincerely there's actually no manual okay. i could say this thing works for me and it, you could try it and it doesn't work it's 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 dicey it's funny yeah just i don't know just take it just take, as it comes just, right? just take it as it comes you definitely will make mistakes you know you do things that you'd regret but just learn as it goes mm. and just be nice to you so would you do this again yes i will this mm -hmm. is <laughs> I love the honesty. There's money involved. Okay. 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 So somebody asked me on Twitter and they're like, would you go for the show again? I'm like, how much is involved? I'm waiting at the... At the I entrance. love that. She's very honest about it. She will. Guys, so that's it. We had the lovely Dora the Explorer. I absolutely think that you're a people's person. Thank um, you and so I can much. see how a lot of people like you. I'm sure you know that a lot of people like you. Like I've never really... Maybe there are times where you've been involved in one or two... <coughs> <laughs> but I've never really heard that, you know, and I think you've had quite an amazing ride. You've had quite an amazing run. Okay, that's it on the show, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Dora the Explorer is here. Guys, please make sure you support her. Buy her MFC. We're going to share all the details on yes. the screen. How you can also become a fan, how you can become an explorer. So what do they buy forms? Like how do they become <laughs> explorers? Like tell us. Because they don't buy forms. You just have to, you know, follow me and you follow know, just you. support me. Support but for you, you. yourself. <laughs> you, got, you got this money, you got this money. I'll just come to your house and take one of your shoes. Oh, <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to kick her out of my set. But this has been very interesting. Thank you for asking my questions because I've always been very curious about this Big Brother platform, you know, and the, the conversations that people don't necessarily have. And I appreciate the fact that you were very honest about your journey as well. And good luck, we're rooting for you. Thank you so much. All right, guys, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. My name is at Tokesta with a double R. On the next episode of Talking Moments, you have no idea what we'll be talking about. You want to find out? Stay tuned. Goodbye.